Have you ever wondered what the weather is like outside of the U.S., specifically in Africa? Today, we're going to talk about weather in Ghana. Ghana is in West Africa. We have heard about the year of return. The year of return for most people in the diaspora represents hope, a new beginning, an opportunity to thrive. Yet no one really speaks about the weather. So today we're going to talk about the weather in Ghana. I want to say I am so appreciative of Brother Yahushua in the land, in the motherland group. So with no further ado, we're going to talk about that. For those that are traveling to Ghana, this is something that you need to be made aware of, not to be discouraged, but just to be prepared for. We are approaching a new season here in Ghana known as the Hermatin or dry season. The Hermatin is a season in West Africa, which occurs between the end of November and the middle of March. It is characterized by the dry and dusty northeasterly trade wind of the same name, which blows from the Sahara Desert over West Africa into the Gulf of Guinea. The name is related to the word Haramata in the Twi language. The temperature is cold in most places, but can also be hot in certain places, depending on local circumstances. The Hermatan haze surrounding Abuja National Mosque in Abuja, the Hermatan blows during the dry season, which occurs during the months with the lowest sun. In this season, the subtropical ridge of high pressure strays over the central Sahara Desert and the low pressure intertropical convergence zone, known as ITCZ, stays over the Gulf of Guinea. On its passage over the Sahara, the Hermatin picks up fine dust and sand particles between 0.5 and 10 microns. It is also known as the Dr. Wind because of its invigorating dryness compared with humid tropical air. So let's talk about some of the effects. This season differs from winter because it is characterized by cold, dry, dust Latin wind, and also wide fluctuations in the ambient temperatures of the day and night. Temperatures can easily be as low as 9 degrees Celsius or 48 degrees Fahrenheit all day. But sometimes in the afternoon, the temperature can also soar to as high as 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit, while the relative humidity drops under 5%. It can also be hot in some regions like in the Sahara Desert. Hermatin haze over Ghana, the air is particularly dry and, and uh, uh, desic desiccating when the Hermatin blows over the region. The Hermatin brings desert-like weather conditions. It lowers the humidity, dissipates cloud cover, prevents rainfall formation, and sometimes creates big clouds of dust. They are often seen in Ghana, though. So let's talk a little bit more about the Hermatin haze. And I apologize if I'm butchering the pronunciation of because uh, it is in the Twi language. Uh, Hermatin haze. In some countries in West Africa, the heavy amount of dust in the air can severely limit visibility and block the sun for several days, comparable to a heavy fog. This effect is known as the Hermatin haze. It costs airlines millions of dollars in canceled and diverted flights each year. When the haze is weak, the skies are clear. The extreme dryness of the air may cause branches of trees to die. Let's talk about the health. The humidity drops to as low as 15%, which can cause or which can result in spontaneous nosebleeds for some people. 
Other health effects on humans may include conditions of the skin or dryness of the skin, dried or chapped lips, eyes, and respiratory system, including aggravation of asthma. So that's a little bit about the weather condition or uh, what will be happening in um, shortly in, in Ghana. So again, it's not to uh, deter you. It's just to give you some insight and um, make sure that you are properly taking care of yourself and taking the necessary precautions to take care of yourself and your 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 family, your household. Um, we are coming up on another anniversary, uh, as I mentioned earlier, about the year of return. Um, the year of return is very significant because um, you had many people in the diaspora from the diaspora get granted citizenship in Ghana, West Africa. And so um, last year represented 400 years of, of uh, slavery, 400 years that our ancestors were enslaved and taken from West Africa, some taken from Ghana, some from Nigeria, some from various parts of Africa. Um, and so uh, Ghana uh, declared um, the year of return to be an opportunity for our people to return to the motherland, to return um, to Ghana and to seek refuge and to begin um, living in Ghana and seeking citizenship, a uh, residency um, opportunities for business owners to, um, to create businesses in Ghana. And so the year of return uh, represents for me, and for some others, hope. And so this year in December, December 24th, um, they are calling it Beyond the Return, Ghana, Beyond the Year of Return. Okay, so that's what that's what they're talking about now. And as we are preparing for it, just what, 20, 19 days away, 19 days away, as we are preparing for um, the be beyond the the return of Ghana, um, we need to be um, knowledgeable about the weather, knowledgeable about how to prepare yourself for what is going on in Ghana, because um, the year of return comes to an end, but the new beginning. Um, uh, beyond the return, beyond the return. Okay. So I wanted to share a little insight uh, with you guys about that, because in our next podcast, we are going to be talking um, to brother um, David, who is a, an asset to uh, the Ghanaian community. And Brother David has uh, done some phenomenal, phenomenal work in Africa, in West Africa, where he uh, currently resides in Ghana. And um, he's going to uh, be sharing with you guys uh, some information about uh, the work that he has done. And again, this is Brother David Jawara, Brother David. David Jawara, okay, uh, he has created an organic farm. He has um, recently received his citizenship and and other things. And, and so I'm just proud when I hear the stories of our brothers and sisters that were once in the diaspora um, repatriated to Africa repatriated to Ghana, and they received their citizenship. Um, so I am just so excited about the opportunity. Uh, Brother David uh, has a, um, a consultant group, and together uh, they 
assist those that are in the diaspora wanting to repatriate to Africa, uh, to Ghana, West Africa, um, to receive their citizenship. And uh, Brother David is one of the uh, individuals that is uh, uh, spearheading uh, uh, one that that event, that historical um, event, and the event being you're able to now receive citizenship in Ghana. So I want to say uh, I appreciate the work that Brother David is doing, and uh, you guys will hear from uh, David in our next podcast as we talk about the year of return, as we talk about beyond the return. Okay. So, uh, guys, I, I just wanted to let you know that we've got some awesome shows coming up. We've got some powerful people that we will be interviewing that will be on our show, on our platform. And as always, I want to say, I appreciate all of our listeners across the globe, wherever you may be, your support is definitely appreciated. It's always appreciated. Please continue to share our podcast with your friends, your families, your loved ones, or even maybe your extended family so that we can continue talking about uh, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful program that's going on in Africa. Uh, I had uh, the pleasure and honor of, of speaking to uh, another brother that is doing some awesome work. I mean, this brother is doing some awesome work. It is a team effort when we're talking about repat assistance, repat assistance. Brother uh, Yahashua and his wife, they are doing wonderful, wonderful work with housing and assisting our people with finding housing, um, those that are in the diaspora. Um, land in the motherland is free. Land in the motherland is a possibility. So as we are uh, thinking about, or you are thinking about repatriating to Ghana, West Africa, um, definitely check out what Repot assistance is doing the repat assistant is the assistance is doing, and that's brother uh Yahashua and his wife they are doing uh some great things there, and we are also looking forward to having them on on our show on our future show coming up, and they will be talking more in detail about the work that they are doing with um with allowing uh with assisting our people with getting land, land in the motherland. Yes, 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 yes. You will love that. Sister Candace is his wife and uh, brother Steve, Sister Candace Williams and Steve Williams. Um, They're doing some wonderful work with uh, Cass Estate, G-H-L-T-D. They're in, uh, in Accra, in, in Ghana. So I am loving the work that they are doing. Uh, if you are interested in, in purchasing land or investing in land, I'll tell you now is definitely the time to do that. And, and that family is one family that can certainly help you, um, with that, with that, with the process of that, uh, buying and securing land. So, uh, there's other organizations and people that are out there doing this great work as well. And I'm looking forward to having them on our show in the very near future. Uh, we have Dr. Sharita will also be on the show and uh we have our uh beloved sister um amicus mother africa will also be uh on one of our future shows as well so guys we have uh we have a powerful lineup so just stay tuned be blessed and you will hear more from us as we continue to share the information on repatriation um, to Africa, as we continue to share uh, the word about um, human rights, as we talk about uh, social justice, uh, what's happening around the world. This is certainly a time for you to be informed it's certainly a time for you to be um, educated, 
on uh, on these topics and also a time for you to share uh, your input. All right. So this is a collaborative effort and we are looking uh, to share your stories on our platform as well. So, again, we want to say gratitude to all of you. Peace and love. Please make sure you follow us on our YouTube channels. Please make sure you subscribe to our podcast. You can find our podcast wherever you stream your favorite podcast. Apple, iHeartRadio. Follow us on there. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, we look forward to having you on our future podcast. Be blessed.